In this lecture, we want to practice how to apply the Groshoff's law for a four-bar linkage. You will see two types of examples. In some of them, the lengths of all the links are given, and we need to predict the type of motion, which is straightforward and easy. Whereas in some others, we need to determine the range for the lengths of one of the links in order to have a desired type of motion, which might be a bit more complex. Before we start, let's make a quick review of the Groshoff's law as well as the conditions for the existence of a four-bar linkage. We have learned that for a crank rocker motion, there are two conditions, saying that L plus S must be less than or equal to P plus Q, and the shortest link should be adjacent to the base. For a crank crank motion, again, L plus S must be less than or equal to P plus Q, and the shortest link should be the base. And finally, there are two situations for the rocker rocker motion to take place. If L plus S is less than or equal to P plus Q, and the shortest link is the coupler, this is one situation. And the second one is when L plus S is greater than P plus Q. Apart from the different cases of the Groshoff's criteria, the conditions for the existence of a forward linkage must also be considered and checked. As we discussed earlier, these four conditions must be met for every forward linkage, otherwise it cannot exist. Now after this review, let's start with a simple example where the length for all the links have been given and the type of motion has been demanded. If we compare L plus S and P plus Q, the longest link is 7 unit length, the shortest is 2, and the two others are 4 and 6. 7 plus 2 is 9, and 4 plus 6 is 10, so L plus S is less than P plus Q. And since the shortest link is the base, the type of motion becomes crank crank. In the second example, if we compare L plus S and P plus Q, the longest is 7, the shortest is 3, and the two others are 4 and 5. 7 plus 3 is 10, and 4 plus 5 is 9, so L plus S is greater than P plus Q. Therefore, the type of motion is rocker rocker. After those simple examples, let's have a more complex one. In this example, the driver is 4 unit length, the coupler is 6, the follower is 7, and we need to find the range for the base link in order to have a crank crank motion. First of all, for the existence of the forward linkage, we have these four conditions. If we apply each condition and take the intersection of all the requirements, we will find that for the linkage to exist, the base link must be greater than or equal to 17. Now let's apply the Groshoff's criteria for having a crank crank motion. The longest plus shortest must be less than or equal to the summation of the other two links and the shortest must be the base, which we assumed as x and needs to be determined. So the longest is 7, the shortest is x, as we assumed, and the two others are 4 and 6. From there, x must be less than or equal to 3. On the other hand, since we assumed x is the shortest link, it should be shorter than every other link. Among the other links, the minimum length is 4. So for x to be the shortest, 
it should be even shorter than or at most equal to 4. Therefore, the intersection of the Grashof's requirement says x must be less than or equal to 3. Finally, we need to take intersection from the existence obligation and the Grashof's crank crank requirement, which ends to x needs to be less than or equal to 3 unit lengths. In the next example, the driver is 2 unit lengths, the coupler is 7, the follower is 4, and we need to determine the range for the base link for having a crank rocker motion. Firstly, we need to find a range for the base link to satisfy the existence of the linkage. Using the four conditions and substituting the lengths, after solving the system of inequalities and taking intersection from the requirements, we will have x must be between 1 and 13. Now, for a crank rocker motion, there are two Grashof requirements. L plus S must be less than or equal to P plus Q, and the shortest link should be the driver. We should notice that for the driver to be the shortest, we need to keep the base longer than that. So the base should be greater than or equal to two unit lengths. For substituting the lengths in the Grashof's condition, we have no idea whether assuming the base as the shortest, longest, or one of the other two links. Therefore, we need to check all of the cases. If x is the shortest, the longest, or either of p or q. Assuming x as the shortest, it must be smaller than or equal to two unit lengths. Substituting the lengths, the longest is 7, the shortest is x, as we assumed. The two others are 2 and 4. As you see, 7 is already greater than 6, and x should be less than minus 1 to maintain this requirement, which is impossible. On the other hand, we need to keep x longer than 2 unit lengths in order to respect the driver as the shortest link. Therefore, the intersection of this case is empty. Assuming x as the longest, it should be even longer than 7. Substituting the length, the longer is x, as we assumed, the shortest is 2, and the two others are 7 and 4. From there, x must be smaller than 9. And remember that x should be more than 2 to keep the driver as the shortest. So the intersection of the requirements for this case contains values between 7 and 9. Finally, assuming x as either of p or q means it should be between 2 and 7. Substituting the lengths, longest is 7, shortest is 2, and the two others are x and 4. From there, x must be greater than or equal to 5. And the requirement for keeping the driver as the shortest is always there. So the intersection of this case says x must be between 5 and 7. Now that we have found the range for each case, the concluding length for the base link is the union of all these cases, which says x must be between 5 and 9. Now we need to take intersection from the obligation for the existence of the linkage, which says x must be between 1 and 13, and the crank rocker requirements, which says x must be between 5 and 9. The intersection will contain the values between 5 and 9. In the next example, we want the range for the follower link to provide a rocker-rocker motion. 
the driver is 4 unit length, the coupler is 2, and the base is 7. So for the existence of the linkage, the follower must be between 1 and 13. As we discussed earlier, there are two situations which can result in a rocker rocker motion. If L plus S is less than or equal to P plus Q and the shortest link is the coupler, this is the first situation. Or the second one says if L plus S is greater than P plus Q. For the first part, the Grashof condition says L plus S must be less than or equal to P plus Q. But since we don't know whether X being the coupler is the shortest, the longest or either of P or Q, we need to check them all. The other requirement of the first part says the shortest link must be the coupler. The coupler is two unit length and to keep it as the shortest, X should not be shorter than that. So the condition saying X greater than or equal to two must be always included. Let's check each assumption. Assuming x as the shortest means it should be less than or equal to 2. Then from the Grashof's condition after substituting the length, we have x should be less than minus 1. So considering all the three requirements in this case, their intersection is empty. Next, assuming x as the longest means it should be longer than or equal to 7. Then from the Grashof's condition, x must be less than or equal to 9. And the intersection of the requirements becomes x between 7 and 9. Lastly, assuming x as p, it should be between 2 and 7. From the Grashof's condition, x must be bigger than 5. And the intersection of the requirements in this case becomes x between 5 and 7. Finally, the union of the results for all the three assumptions becomes x between 5 and 9. This is the range for the follower link to provide a rocker rocker motion. But this range is only the result of the first part. There is still a second part that can provide a rocker rocker motion. For the second part of the answer, the condition says L plus S must be greater than P plus Q. We can make three assumptions about x. It can be the shortest, the longest, or either of p or q. If x is the shortest, it should be less than or equal to 2. And substituting in the Grashof's condition yields x can be any value greater than minus 1. The intersection of these two requirements becomes x less than or equal to 2. If x is the longest, then it must be 7 unit length or more. And from the Grashof's condition, we will have x needs to be more than 9. The intersection for this case becomes x must be longer than 9. Finally, if x is either of p or q, then it has to be between 2 and 7. And from the Grashof's condition, it should be less than 5. The intersection in this case ends to x between 2 and 5. So with three assumptions, we have three ranges. And the total range is the union of the three, which says x less than 5 or more than 9. Now we need to take a union from the solutions for the first and second parts. The first part says x between 5 and 9. The second part says x less than 5 or more than 9. Taking the union of the two, we will have x can be any value, but of course it should be greater than 0 since it represents a length. So the requirement for x for having a rocker rocker motion is just being any value greater than 0. On the other hand, if you remember for the existence of the linkage, x must be between 1 and 13. We need to take the intersection of these two requirements, which says x needs to be between 1 and 13, 
which is the final result to provide a rocker rocker motion. In the next example, we want the range for the coupler link to provide a crank crank motion. The driver is 4 unit length, the follower is 7, and the base is 2. So for the existence of the linkage, the coupler must be between 1 and 13. For having a crank crank motion, L plus S must be less than or equal to P plus Q. We consider three assumptions for X, if it is the shortest, the longest, or either of P or Q. In each case, we apply the Grashof's condition and after substitution of the length, we find the range for X. The second condition is for the shortest link to be the base. Since the base link is two unit length, in order to keep it as the shortest, X has to be greater than or at least equal to two. This obligation needs to be considered in each case. Then we find the intersection of the ranges in each case. For when X is the shortest, the longest, and either of P or Q. Finally, we take a union of all of them. So for having a crank crank motion, the range for X is between 5 and 9. And we should also check whether the linkage exists in this range meaning that we should take an intersection of the two requirements. In the last example, we want the range for the driver link to provide a rocker rocker motion. The coupler is 5 unit length, the follower is 4 and the base is 7. So for the existence of the linkage, the driver must be less than or at most equal to 16. Generally, there are two ways to create a rocker rocker motion. Let's check them one by one. For the first part, L plus S is required to be less than or equal to P plus Q, and the shortest link should be the coupler. Obviously, this never happens because, as you see, the coupler is 5 unit length and the follower is 4. So the coupler is already longer than the follower and cannot be the shortest. Therefore, the range for this part is empty. Now we check the second part, which says L plus S must be greater than P plus Q. We consider three possibilities. If X is the shortest, the longest, and either of P or Q. In each case, we apply the Grashof's condition and find the range for X. Then we take a union of all of the cases. Then we take a union of parts 1 and 2. Finally, we have the range for the driver link to provide a rocker rocker motion. It says X must be between 2 and 6 or greater than 8 but not any value greater than 8 because we need to also check the existence of the linkage which says x must be less than or at most equal to 16. So we need to take the intersection of the two requirements which ends to x between 2 and 6 or between 8 and 16. 